Hello, and thanks for watching another episode of ARFCOM News, your twice-weekly dose of the finest 2A propaganda. First up today is yet another heapin' helpin' of hypocrisy from F Troop. Last July, the feds arrested U.S. citizen Isaac Hernandez as he was approaching the Laredo border crossing and found 17 handguns. He was charged and convicted, but the reason this is news now is because the AFT is gloating in a press release about Hernandez getting almost seven years in prison. That's right. This guy <laughs> looks as though he's wondering if that was really just a fart right before the flash popped for his official photo, said firearms trafficking is illegal and immoral. What, like underground street racing? I mean, I've got a soft spot for scoff laws, but street racing is crazy dangerous in the same way that straight three gun would be if somebody tried it. I mean, nobody can argue gun trafficking is illegal, of course, obviously, but that's what's called malum prohibitum. He's also claiming that gun running is immoral. Now, you just go ahead and ponder that for a second on the hypocrisy of the agency which brought us Fast and Furious 11 team telling us gun running is immoral. In all the time I've known him, he, he's never done anything immoral. See? I don't know, I'm not sure if I buy the notion that it's immoral at all. The guy in this case had some 9mm, 380, and 22 handguns. The AFT walked thousands of guns, including modern fighting rifles, and some of them were documented to have been involved in the unaliving of a Border Patrol agent. At the same time, I believe all people have a fundamental right to arms, and the only reason gun running is lucrative in the first place is the scarcity imposed by authoritarian laws in Mexico. So if gun running is immoral at all, I don't think it's anywhere near as immoral as Mur Radio Edit. Sorry, <laughs> got a little carried away there. Uh, I can't say those things out loud if we want to keep making quality 2A propaganda. And we can't keep making quality 2A propaganda without our sponsors either, so let's pay some bills. Today's video is sponsored by TNVC.com, who believes God's plaid belongs on all the things. And Winchester. Check out their new clip packs. 30 rounds of spicy M193 or 855 loaded on clips with handy loading spoon. As always, you'll find links down in the doobly-doo. Well, obviously, we have some catalytic converter thieves in Lincoln Park. They're climbing under your cars and snatching your converters up, so hide your car, hide your truck, because they're stealing everything up in here. <laughs> and two of them found out the hard way. Taking things which don't belong to you dramatically increases your risk of lead poisoning. When a 73-year-old man in the Lincoln Park neighborhood of Chicago looked outside in the wee hours of the morning, he saw two men trying to steal his catalytic converter. Naturally, he loaded up his enormous gonads into a wheelbarrow and went outside to tell them what's up. When one of them pulled a gun, he started blasting. Now, unfortunately, the crooks did get away, but the old man was safe, so I'm still going to chalk that up as a win. Hey, at least the cops aren't charging the victim. Up in the Great White North, they charged a man with a big MDK when he shot a man who broke into his house and attacked his mother. Not that you should need permission from the government, but his gun was legally registered, as is their custom in Hoth. He also didn't exactly burn the man into the ground like John Wick either. He shot the guy one time. Oh yeah, and it wasn't just the one attacker in his home. There were three other men with the dead bad guy, and one of them was caught later with an illegal handgun. I honestly can't figure for the life of me how the cops have the temerity to charge with the big M given those circumstances, but things get crazy up there in Rurapente. If you really care about gun rights, like you say you do, you gotta pick up a phone and put in some work every now and then. So, 
Your homework assignment for today is to choose at least one of the following bills to support and give them a quick call. Don't, don't go anywhere, I know. It'll literally just take you like five minutes, so give me a sec. Florida's permitless carry bill has passed out of the House Judiciary Committee and moves on for a floor vote. Permitless carry is one of the biggest issues in the country right now. So whether or not you live in Florida, please call 850-717-5400 and ask to be connected with one of their fine barrel-aged politicritters. Urge them to support House Bill 543. West Virginia's campus carry bill has passed the House and now moves on to the governor for a signature. So, wherever you are right now, let's all pull in and give our Appalachian brothers and sisters a hand and call Governor Jim Justice, yes, that's really him, at 304-558-2000 and tell him to sign SB 10. Wyoming state preemption law will be strengthened by SF-148, which will be voted on in the House soon. State preemption laws prevent local jurisdictions from creating a patchwork of conflicting laws for gun owners to try to navigate. So please call 307-777-7881 and tell one of their fine representatives to vote for SF-148. And now, for your moment of zen. Hey friend, do you like pews and pew-related things? Do you want to help us keep delivering you pure uncut American pew propaganda at the low, low price of free 99 We literally couldn't pay the bills without our sponsors, so do us a solid and get yourself something nice from them. You deserve it. I love you.